of the renewal of the mind actually does take thought management and like exercise and it's intentional and it's hard work and I'm choosing to believe that these circumstances will all the more reveal that God will show up. Good morning, beloved. Welcome to my morning one of Jesus series where I share with you about some of the conversations I have with Jesus in my morning corner with him. My channel is called Small and Beloved because I would hope that my journey as I discover who I am as the beloved of Christ will inspire you to go on your own journey in that kind of intimacy with him. Anyways, today I wanted to share with you a morning devotion that I do every day from Great for the Moment by Max Lucado. And today is September 21st. The devotion is called Guard the Gateway. Peter 5, 8, 9. The devil, your enemy, goes around like a roaring lion looking for someone to eat. Refuse to give in to him by standing strong in your faith. You've got to admit, some of our heart are trashed out. Let any riffraff knock on a door and you throw it open. Anger shows up and we let him in. Revenge needs a place to stay, so we have him pull up a chair. Pity he wants to have a party, so we show him the kitchen. Lust rings the bell and we change the sheets on the bed. Don't we know how to say no? Many don't. For most of us, thought management is, well, unheard of. We think much about time management, weight management, personal management, even scalp management. But what about thought management? Shouldn't we be as concerned about managing our thoughts as we are managing anything else? Jesus was. Like a trained soldier at the gate of the city, he stood watch over his mind. He stubbornly guarded the gateway of his heart. If he did, shouldn't we? It's interesting, the concept of thought management is not something that, um, the church teaching traditionally talks about it seems like there was this disconnect because so much of um, our Christian walk is about the renewal of our mind in Christ but somehow that we don't talk about um, how to align and, and partake in being a part of that renewal we kind of assume that the renewal of the mind is kind of just something that will supernaturally kind of bam, one day would just happen, like, you know, you got touched by magic kind of thing. Um, but in reality, I think um, the renewal of the mind actually does take thought management and never use those words exactly, but I've always used the analogy that it's like exercise and it's intentional and it's hard work and it, there are times you don't want to do it, but you know it's good for you. And, and it's that intentionality of um, keep on exercising that muscle and thought management is exercising yourself to think in accordance to what biblically we know is true about who we are in Christ and sometimes that means when you don't feel like that is true and it doesn't mean to stuff down your feelings um, about how you're feeling about a situation no because denial is definitely not um, healthy either but um, thought management means saying that I'm choosing to believe um, the blessings of God that is upon me through Christ, um, that I am redeemed, I am made whole, I am his, I am loved. And, and what all of that looks like, even though my present circumstances does not look like that. And that I'm choosing to believe that um, God is my victor, God is my healer, God is my protector even though the circumstances is challenging all those things right now, but the thought management is that um, I'm choosing to believe that these circumstances will all the more reveal that God wants to be, that God will show up as the protector, the healer, the victor in my life, and that all the more I will experience what it means to be a child of God, that I am provided for, that he will protect me, that he is always with me, and all of that good stuff. So are there some things that um, has been beckoning you to shift your perspective on? Exercising um, thought management. Another analogy sometimes I like to use regarding thought management is like it's playing whack-a-mole with um, your thought that a negative thought or a thought that um, is not congruent with 
um, what the Bible says, um, who Jesus is, or who you are in Jesus comes up, then you kind of have to like whack it down. Not meaning like that you deny it, but you whack it down as in like that I could choose to believe that or I could choose to believe um, who Jesus says I am and who Jesus says he is. And at this moment, I'm going to choose to um, believe the word of God instead of the negative thoughts that is coming in my mind. Because the thing is, a lot of our negative thoughts a lot of our negative emotions aren't actually really based on the circumstance at the time either. They are just based on our experiences and um, and it doesn't even have to be the majority of our, our experience. Our human mind is so um, protective of us, protective of us from um, going through pain again that if you've ever had one um, experience like that wasn't good um, so that when a similar situation happens again, then your your mind and your body and your soul will automatically um, remind you of that negative experience and it will tell you to protect yourself. And that is where the negative um, thought pattern a lot of times appears because they are your self-defense mechanism telling you reasons why you need to run or like fight or flight and obviously there are good reasons to sometimes um not to be in a, a conflict or whatever but um if you are able to just allow yourself to just breathe and assess the moment objectively um and perhaps even ask god what are you doing in this moment instead of focusing on what the people are doing then you can perhaps change the narrative change the story that you've always been telling yourself about how certain um, things will always play out in your life and instead choosing to believe and allowing that narrative the new narrative of a hopeful and healthier lifestyle to evolve and of course in no way I'm trying to imply that um, spirituality can be reduced to just thought management because obviously spirituality is so much more just to try to jab at the tip of the iceberg i think spirituality is about connecting the mind to the heart or the soul but your mind needs to think straight first about um, what you believe in and spirituality is becoming that person that um you know in the depth of your soul that who you were created to be and and to to um living out that best version of um, the image of Christ that you were made to be. And everyone looks so different in that image because Jesus, God, he's just so enormous. And if any one of us was to give up, forfeit um, the resemblance that we have in him, then the world is at a loss of um, seeing that image of Christ that only you um are able to reflect so that is why spirituality for me is something that is so important and I hope that this perhaps will encourage you take time to be diligent and and to um, build up resilience in your own walk with God and becoming the person that you were created to be and which is lovely and I can't wait to meet and meet and know each and every one of you so please be sure to comment below and let me know um, about your journey with God and I would love to get in touch with each and every one of you have a good day bye that was a lot today <laughs>